This is a newly constructed contemporary mega mansion here in Rancho Santa Fe, California, situated on 10 acres of land, featuring one of the most architecturally significant infinity edge pools we have ever seen before on this channel. Amazing entry with a 120 foot cantilever. It has an impressive great room media space and a car showroom which doubles as a guest house and today we're going to tour this property in its entirety but before we do make sure to subscribe because we're touring more homes just like this one every single week on the channel and huge thank you to the listing agent jam for making this tour possible you can find all of his information down below in the description and now let's get started here today in bright and sunny Rancho Santa Fe, California, about to tour this newly constructed mega mansion here right in front of me, situated on 10 acres of land. Now, from the street, we have a private extended gated driveway, which takes us all the way up to the motor courts here. Also, what's very unique about this property is the fact that you have vineyards to my left and my right hand side. So every time you drive up to your property, you're getting views of your very own vineyard. That's something we have never seen before on the channel. We also have tall trees surrounding the entire property. No other neighbors are anywhere in sight. No one can see the property from the street level. It also is set extremely high above the street level too. So that's how you know you are getting the maximum privacy and security that you deserve here. Now, you also have this sectioned off driveway, which takes you down to my right hand side, leading up to your six car garage. And that also further takes us down to the guest house, where you also have your car showroom, which is a pretty crazy space that we will be talking about later. Now let's continue our tour. This is your circular motor courts, your port cachet right here. You've got the landscaping here positioned in the center, river rock details, dual sided water feature surrounded by the beautiful stonework. And we actually will be seeing that exact same stonework throughout the interior of the property. Also, we have amazing architectural details throughout the home that I also will be showing you, of course, throughout the tour. This is the first major architectural detail that we have to talk about. So this right here, steel cantilever, 120 feet in length, and it actually extends from the front of the property through the interior all the way out to the outside of the property. That's your backyard. And you've got a curved infinity edge pool, grass section, and beautiful views. Of course, we'll go out there later, but the architectural significance of this cantilever is absolutely mind blowing. It is not very easy to engineer or construct a cantilever of this magnitude. And they pulled it off here in an amazing way. Now we've also got the tile work details taking us up to the entrance, more plant life on either side of me. You can see the cacti down there in the distance as well. We have contemporary Spanish architecture right here, smooth stucco finish with the stonework and the red shingles there on the rooftop. We've also got more plant life and we also have a secret driveway back there which further leads to a decomposed granite trail which actually takes you to the backyard. There's a whole lot to see at this property and I'm very excited for this tour. So now 
follow me straight ahead. Now, like I said, cantilever extends from the exterior of the house all the way here inside your entry. We've got the massive glass pivot door, which takes us into the front entrance as well, where we are greeted with tiled floors. And we have the east wing of the property here to my left, and that takes us into your guest bedrooms and the primary bedroom suite. And all of those rooms have remarkable views. Now, over to my right-hand side, we have access into your dining space, great room, wine cellar, car showroom, and straight ahead, that's the backyard. But first things first, I wanna actually take you down here to my left-hand side first. We've got extremely high ceilings. As you can see, these ceilings have easily gotta be 15 to 20 feet tall. We are immediately greeted with this contemporary office space furniture throughout. You've got the custom wooden paneled cabinetry right here with the matching floating shelf spaces right above the area. And you've got the sliding glass doors, which takes you directly outside to that backyard. And that curved infinity edge pool looks pretty remarkable from this vantage point. And it's gonna look even better when we check out that space later. Now to my right, you can see that we have this interior glass door. And this takes us into another private office. We're getting great views out there to the front yard, the water feature, all of your landscaping out there as well. Contemporary furniture surrounds the space, high ceilings with the wooden paneled ceilings, and you really have these true floor to ceiling walls of glass, which look out to the space. Also something I should mention, the developer told me they spent about $2 million on all of the glass here at the property. Pretty insane. Now, straight ahead, we've got the wooden panel floors. We've got more floor to ceiling walls of glass looking out to the beautiful landscaping, of course. Let's take a turn here to my left hand side. Massive wooden pivot door leads us into the primary bedroom suite. This space is truly remarkable. Right when you enter, you have the contemporary seating space with the furniture throughout, and you've got your architecturally significant fireplace. So this entire shelf right here is actually floating off the ground. You've got the rocks positioned inside. Stonework surrounds the exterior of this fireplace as well. It's such a gorgeous statement piece right here, and it does add so much character to this primary suite. Once again, you've got the high ceilings. This also is a corner facing room right here. And you've got the floor to ceiling walls of glass once again, which slide all the way back. So you really just get that amazing indoor outdoor living experience coming straight out here to this backyard. You've got the massive grass patch right here, views of the curved infinity edge pool, the contemporary architecture, this space looks amazing. And if you follow me around this corner, like I mentioned, this is that decomposed granite trail, which lines this wing of the property, taking us back over to that secret driveway. What an amazing space. I love all the foliage that they have out here as well. Cacti down below. And like I said, we are on 10 acres of land. So all of this land that you see below us here, all those trees down there in the distance belong to this property and also the land down there. Palm trees, cacti. You can also do so much more with this land if you really want to. Imagine the possibilities. You can add a tennis court, maybe a full-size basketball court down there if you want to. And then I should mention, we're getting the remarkable views out there in the distance. Now we're gonna save the rest of this backyard for a little bit later on. I wanna go ahead and take you back inside of the primary suite. Like I said, contemporary furniture is located all throughout the section, very spacious, grand scale. You've got the desk area to my left. And let's go ahead and continue our tour. We've got more floor to ceiling glass, looking out to the mountains in the distance, and here we are. This is your primary bathroom, right when you walk in. I love the use of the earth tones. It's so contemporary, so minimalist, 
in the space. We've got the freestanding tub, which looks out to the mountains once again. And you're also surrounded by views of your own private land. So like I said, when you buy this house, you get 10 acres of land, which is quite remarkable. You've got the river rocks surrounding the exterior of this corner facing area. You've got your dual vanity set up to my right. You've got the custom wooden cabinetry positioned below, soft closing like I always love to see. You've also got some vertical wooden panel details here on either side of your mirror with the wall sconces matte black fixtures around the corner. You have the primary closet, but before we see that, we have to talk about your glass enclosed walk-in shower space. What an amazing section here overall. Like I said, they've continued the use of those earth tones. You've got the travertine slabs right here going from the floor to the ceiling. Ambient LED light strips above. You've got the travertine bench seating here as well. Two mounted rain heads. Fabricated shelving is located here to my left. And we have that textured earth tone tile that surrounds this entire floor. And like I said, it just adds so much character. Now around the corner, this is your designated preparation vanity. You've got the seat there in the center, more custom cabinetry, mirror with the wall sconces right above, and to my right, that is one of your two water closets. Now continuing down, this is it. This is the primary closet. Again, a very grand, remarkable space high ceilings, you've got the skylight positioned above, bringing so much natural light into this section. You've got the center island with the quartz countertops, built-in bench seating, and you've also got the soft closing cabinets, which are a part of this island. You've got interior plant life to add some color. It looks amazing. You've got lots of built-in shelving spaces, cabinetry, spots to hold your clothing, and all of the shelving here is illuminated with these LED light strips, which border the perimeter of this entire section right here. Also, you have three full body mirrors and the ones on either end actually open up and just reveal some more storage. Pretty cool space. Even your mirrors are soft closing. That's pretty crazy. Now let's continue our tour. We've got more custom shelving here to my right hand side and you've got another water closet, like I said, so you do have two total. Let's continue our tour. We've got the backyard to my left, which we will be seeing later on, but follow me down this hallway right here. Down here to my right, we have this very spacious hallway, gallery wall to my left with some seating sections. And we see a continuation of the white oak floors going all the way down to this massive picture window right here. Looking out to more foliage, cacti down there in the distance. It truly looks amazing. Now to my left, you have another seating space with more artwork above. Love the contemporary furniture. And we also have this outdoor space, which takes us to a private relaxation area. You're looking out at the foliage once again. Now down here at the end of this hallway, we have several different guest bedrooms. The first guest bedroom is located here to my right hand side, a spacious room with amazing views. You've also got the ensuite bathroom with the beautiful vanity and you've got the walk-in shower that doubles as a bathtub with the walk-in closet. And if we exit that bedroom and take a turn down to the very end of the hallway, we have another guest bedroom, a very spacious room with the picture window looking out there once again to the foliage. You've got the ensuite bathroom with the floating vanity, glass enclosed walk-in shower space, and you also have a walk-in closet with all of your necessary built-in items. And if we follow down this hallway, you've got another guest bedroom, very spacious, looking directly out there to that waterfall. You've also got an ensuite bathroom with the floating vanity, glass enclosed shower, and you have the beautiful walk-in closet with the built-in items. Now let's continue our tour back down this hallway. That's the primary suite on my right. We did see that already, but now let's go ahead and continue our tour 
back here to the entrance. Once again, I love the metal cantilever that just comes directly into the property and extends on both exteriors. Like I said, it's unlike anything we've ever seen before. Now let's continue our tour. And if you look to my right, you have this very unique architectural glass enclosed wine cellar, which we'll see in just a second, but I love the attention to detail and the way they've structured the shelving in there. It looks quite remarkable. Now to my right, this is your formal dining room table, which has seating for up to eight guests here. Circular contemporary light fixture is positioned right above, and you're also getting the beautiful views out here in Rancho Santa Fe. You get direct backyard access, and we have these sliding glass doors. Once again, just taking you directly out there to the space. Now let's continue down. To my left, we have access to the great room where you have two kitchens, and we'll see that in just a bit. Follow me down here. Let's go ahead and open up this glass door. And like I mentioned, this is your architectural wine cellar right here. Absolutely amazing space. I love the way they've built the metallic shelving here on either side. You've got spots for all of your favorite bottles of wine, of course, and you've got the authentic stone floors down here to match the vibe of the space, high ceilings with the LED light strips, and you've got your very own vineyards outside the property, so maybe you can create your own wine and store it in this section. Pretty cool. Now let's move down through. You've got a contemporary seating space right here, a possible wine tasting moment, or you could also make this a cigar lounge if you wish. Wall sconces above, and you've got the true floor to ceiling glass looking directly out there to that front yard. I mean, take me for reference, I'm six foot three, and I mean, this space just makes me feel so small. You can probably fit like two more of me right above there to the ceiling. It's pretty crazy. Now let's go ahead and continue our tour and if we take a turn to my right hand side down this hallway. You've got more stone details here and you have access into a powder room. You've got the floating vanity with the travertine countertops and some travertine backsplash right below this mirror. More vertical wooden panel details, stone vessel sink, and you have more interior stonework, which go from the floor to the ceiling, and they line the walls of this entire space, even the little outside nook right here. It's pretty cool. Also, if you take a look up above, we've got the drop ceiling detail illuminated by all those LED light strips. Now let's continue our tour. And if you look straight ahead, we have just made it here into the remarkable great room of the property. There's so much to see in this space, so I will break it down for you. First things first, we've got the kitchen, next to that formal dining, then living space, then you have direct access to the backyard. Like I said, you've got the curved infinity pool. Now to my right, this is your kitchen area, very well appointed kitchen. You've got the massive center island with the porcelain countertops waterfall edge on both sides. You've got bar seating for up to five guests here at this countertop. And if we take a look at the inner workings of this space, you can see we've got Miele appliances located throughout. We've got your double oven set up, stainless steel, five burner right above that. Also above that, you've got your nicely integrated hood, once again designed by Miele. And you've got more LED light strips illuminating this space vertical wooden panels above this section here as well. And then you can see that porcelain backsplash goes up all the way past that hood detail, which is quite remarkable. You've got more custom cabinetry here to both sides and it's all soft closing once again. Same with this side, but we've got some more interesting items to show you. We've got your stainless steel sink, of course, wrapped with the porcelain details We've got your built-in trash area and more soft closing cabinets all throughout. Now in front of me, this is your linear stainless steel sink number two, which looks directly out there to that backyard. We also got more custom cabinetry located all throughout the space. And if you take a look, panel dishwasher built by Mila is nicely integrated here with the rest of the cabinetry. It looks remarkable and this is where you have your side-by-side -side fridge and freezer. They're nicely positioned out of the way, 
so they don't get in the way of any of the rest of your cabinetry. You've got the contemporary interior here. Fridge and freezer are designed by Mila, and like I said, they're nicely paneled. They match the rest of the cabinetry that we saw there in the kitchen. Now we also have this sliding barn style door, and this takes us here into your butler's kitchen. So if you thought that was enough kitchen out there, well, you have even more kitchen, which is pretty crazy. You've got more Mila appliances located throughout the entire space. Fridge with the freezer down below, stainless steel. You've got the custom shelving and cabinetry positioned here all throughout. And you've also got these vertical opening wooden shelf spaces, which is pretty cool. And even that section is nicely soft closing. To my left, we've got another oven set up here, six burner stove top with the hood above, custom upper and lower cabinets throughout. You've also got some horizontal tiled backsplash positioned throughout. You've got a built-in sink, upper shelving, and you've also got a stainless steel dishwasher. So you have even more room in this kitchen, which is quite remarkable. Now that's not all for the great room. We have a lot more to see. Let's continue down. This is your formal dining room section, which has seating for up to eight guests here at this dark wooden table here. And this actually sections you off from your kitchen to your main living room area. L-shaped couch here directly in the center. You've got some chairs, of course, side tables, coffee tables, and extremely high ceilings, guys. Pan up for me for a second. You've got the massive vaulted ceilings right here with all of the linear lights above. This space is truly massive. And like I said, you get the direct access out there to the backyard. This is a corner facing room and you actually have the sliding disappearing pocket doors on both sides, leading you straight out here to the space more seating all across the area here. We have a lot to see, but we'll check out that backyard in just a bit. Let's continue down. Also, I should mention, you've got the vertical wooden panel details here on the inside of the property, just giving the property more character. You've got some floating glass paneled shelving here, and you've got this beautiful fireplace with the rock details inside. It's a bit reminiscent of the one that we saw in your primary bedroom suite. But of course, you just mount your TV right above here, have your movie night out here in this space. It's quite remarkable. Now, around the corner, we actually have access into your media room, which we will be seeing momentarily. But before we see that, I wanna actually take you down this section here, right across from your kitchen, you have access into a guest bedroom, very spacious room, which gets outdoor access. And you also have an ensuite bathroom with a floating vanity, glass enclosed shower, and you've also got your closet storage built into that area. And right across from this bedroom, you can see that we have your mud room and your laundry space. But this has got to be one of the largest laundry rooms I think we've ever seen. This laundry space has its very own center island, which is quite remarkable. Space for four appliances all stacked inside the space. And if you take a look at this right here, this is actually your very own built-in steamer. So you no longer have to go to the dry cleaners when you buy this property. Instead, steam your suits and your pants directly inside of the space here. You never have to go back to the dry cleaner. It's pretty crazy. You also got spots to hang your clothing above, custom cabinetry above and below here, beautiful backsplash. And we've got more custom cabinetry here in your center island. This sink looks out to the motor court of your six car garage. And this door right behind me is your two car garage. And then if you follow me around this corner, we have your mud room area with built-in shelving, of course, and custom cabinetry. And then the door in front of me opens up into your four car garage, where of course we get access to that motor courts and we have sliding glass doors on either side, which take you to the front of the property or down to your motor courts, which is pretty remarkable. Now, Follow me outside of this space. We do have a lot more to see here for this property, of course. 
very spacious, great room, like I mentioned. You've also got those clear story windows right above, which bring so much more natural light into the property. And just look at the views that we are surrounded by every time you're in this room. You've got the mountains in the distance there, palm trees, beautiful foliage. This space looks unbelievable. Now, we've got more backyard access here, but before we see that, follow me around this corner right here, and we've just made it into your very own private media room. Right when you walk in, L-shaped couch with the centerpiece table. You've got the flat screen TV above me here. Custom cabinetry is positioned below. You've also got your marble circular table right here, which can seat up to six guests. This area also would make for an amazing game room. Now, you can see we've got access into a powder room with the floating vanity, custom cabinetry below with the mirror right above that. And if we further move down, this is your private bar here, L-shaped bar with seating for five guests. You can also see we've got custom cabinetry located throughout right here. You've got some pull-out refrigerator drawers, of course, and more custom cabinetry with some pull-out shelving, which is always very ideal to have. And you've got your very own built-in sink in here as well. So when you're entertaining your guests, you don't have to run all the way to the kitchen to clean those glasses. Also, interior stonework looks amazing and just adds so much more character. And we have more disappearing sliding glass doors, which takes us out here to your backyard area. This space looks amazing already with the views, but before we see this backyard, I wanna actually take you down these steps right here. And we have a very interesting item to show you. Now follow me straight ahead, and this is your very own guest house slash car showroom. We've never seen a guest house that doubles as a car showroom before. This is the first time we're seeing it, and this could not be more of an amazing space. You've got the silver McLaren MP412C here. When you drive this car into your showroom every day, you're hit head on with the amazing views of the mountains in the distance here. Rancho Santa Fe looks amazing here, of course. We've also got the sliding glass doors here, which open straight out there to that backyard. You've got the large grass patch. Just sit down, relax, enjoy the views, look out at the mountains, and just relax here in the space. You've got the contemporary seating area directly here in front of me. Of course, you've got a dining space to my left with seating for four at this corner facing area. We've got more great views from this entire section with the trees in the distance. And then you take a look to my left. This is your well-appointed kitchen for your guest house. You've got seating for three at the edge of this center island. You've got your fridge with the freezer down below, built-in dishwasher, sink setup, custom cabinetry throughout. We've got the dark tone countertops and backsplash, custom upper and lower cabinets, single oven setup designed by Mila with the six burner stove top right above that, hood above as well. And when you're relaxing in your kitchen or your seating area, these are the views that you were getting of this McLaren or whatever supercar or luxury car that you wanna position inside of this space. But uh, I don't think this is quite a bad view. I'd sit here all day, relax, look out at the mountains, look at the cars. And also I should mention the ceilings are extremely high. Vaulted ceilings with the ceiling beam directly in the center here. This is a truly one of a kind space. You've also got the entertainment center to my right, mounted flat screen TV above here. And if we take a turn around the corner, we have access into a full size bathroom with the floating vanity and the glass enclosed walk-in shower space. And this ensuite bathroom further leads you into one of the guest bedrooms that we will be seeing here in this guest house. You've got views of the foliage there in the distance. And if we move down through, this is another guest bedroom that we will be seeing here for this guest house here. 
you get direct access to that motor court. And we have an ensuite bathroom with the beautiful vanity. And you've also got the glass enclosed walk-in shower space inside of that area. And in between both of those bedrooms, we have some closet storage. Very good to have. And now that concludes our tour for the interior of the main house and the guest house. So now you gotta follow me out here and you can see that we have just made it to one of the most unique backyards I think we have ever seen before on this channel. And that is for a couple of different reasons. And of course, I'll explain those items to you while we tour the space. Now, before we see this part of the backyard, I wanna actually talk about the various grass patches that you have here in this backyard. So if you take a look down there to my right, that is an extremely large grass patch that they have overlooking the beautiful views of the mountains. And we also have another grass patch. If you take a look down here to my left-hand side, like I mentioned, we are situated on 10 acres of land here. So if you wanna flatten out some more of the land down there, add more grass patches, you absolutely could. I mean, this is so amazing to have, especially in a hillside property. You can sit out here, relax, play soccer, play games of football out here. You have so much land to work with. Beautiful trees surround this entire property as well. Palm trees to my right, 10 acres of land surrounding this entire house. It's quite remarkable. Now we have four pool chairs directly in front of me here, overlooking the views and right next to that space. This is your massive infinity edge curved pool. This is something that we have never seen before on this channel, but I do have to say, this might be one of the largest residential pools we have ever seen before in a property. As you can see, it is not a straight line. It actually curves all the way down towards the end of that primary bedroom suite. I mean, this space just looks absolutely unbelievable. You've got the hot tub positioned here in front of me as well. Also gotta be one of the largest hot tubs I think we've seen in a property. You could easily fit 20 plus people in this jacuzzi. I mean, this is just insane. Also in the pool, I wouldn't be surprised if you can fit 50 plus people comfortably in that space. I mean, this is just seriously crazy. And then the massive grass patch overlooking the mountains. I mean, this house just truly has it all. As you can see, it's starting to rain a little bit. That's not gonna stop us from touring this property. We're here to give you the best quality content possible, and we're gonna do it rain or shine. We've got some beautiful plant life here to my right, river rock details, seating section with the fire pit here as well. Over here, we have some drought tolerant landscaping, and that little mushroom looking item right there is actually an outdoor speaker, and this item right here is a subwoofer, so all you have to do is connect your phone through Bluetooth to these speakers and you can have an outdoor party if you wish with whatever music items that you like. Also, it is a smart home and a very secure home. You have cameras located across the entire property, very secure house, and you can control all the lighting and all the music from just some buttons on your phone. You've got a seating section here to my right. And if we take a turn down here once again, you've got another seating space with a beautiful fireplace to the end of the section. Once again, it's very reminiscent of the fireplace that we saw in the primary bedroom. You've got the flat screen TV above here, and you also have these exterior space heaters, which line this entire covered patio space. And something else to note, you have about 1,500 square feet just of covered patio space. So if for whatever reason, you wanna actually make this part of your property in a remodel project, you can add about 1,500 square feet of space because it's already covered, which is pretty cool. More space heaters line the section. You've got an outdoor dining table to my right, and you've got your exterior kitchen right here in front of me. Bar seating for three. You've got the stainless steel sink here to my right-hand side. Al fresco barbecue located to my right as well. You have two separate center islands, and you can have seating for all your guests on whichever island that you wish. And you've got more custom cabinetry and you've also got your stainless steel 
refrigeration space, which is stocked with some drinks already, exterior sink, and from this vantage point, we get the amazing views once again of Rancho Santa Fe, the mountains, the curved pool section. And I also should mention on this entire right side of the pool, the pool is actually zero edge following the curved all the way to the corner here. And then the left side of the pool is all infinity edge. You get great views of the exterior contemporary Spanish architecture here. You've got two massive cantilevers, one in front of me here at the edge of your primary bedroom suite. And then the other cantilever is right off of your great room. Also, you've got this beautiful cantilever that we talked about earlier, the 120 foot cantilever extending through the interior of the house out here to this exterior space bordered with plant life throughout. And also from this point of the backyard, we get great access back into the primary suite and back into the entry. Now let's continue down. We have more beautiful plant life surrounding the exterior of this home, palm trees, and all that land over there to my left, like I mentioned, is part of your 10 acres, which is pretty crazy. Now, like I said, I wanted to talk more about these grass patches here because it is just such a vast piece of land right here. You can have serious soccer and football games all while viewing the amazing exterior architecture here of this property. The Infinity Edge Pool is just something I've never seen before in such great length either. I also love how the Infinity Edge Pool is nicely tiled with the dark tile details here matching the color of the cantilever, but it's just so interesting to see the cantilever paired well with the Spanish architecture that we are used to seeing here in Rancho Santa Fe. And that concludes our tour for this amazing home here in Rancho Santa Fe, California. If you made it till the end, don't forget to subscribe. We're touring more homes just like this one every single week on the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.